The wife of a Colorado dentist died with a deadly dose of cyanide in her system. Angela Craig is the mother of six kids, and now her husband faces murder charges. This is a case that we have covered ever since her death. Sean Boyd picks up the story from there. The Arapaho County coroner testified that Angela Craig had lethal amounts of cyanide and tetrahydrazoline in her blood, along with a non-lethal amount of arsenic. And the lead detective in the case testified that James Craig poisoned his wife over the course of nine days in March. He is charged with first-degree murder and tampering with evidence in a case that has drawn national media attention. The couple has six kids, some of whom were in court when the detective talked about one possible motive to their mother's murder, their father's infidelity. Aurora dentist James Craig was staying in a hotel with another woman while his wife Angela lay brain dead in a hospital, according to an Aurora police investigator. Detective Bobby Olson, one of two witnesses who took the stand in Craig's preliminary hearing, testifying that she found searches on a work computer that Craig used for how to make a murder look like a heart attack. Is arsenic detectable in an autopsy? And how many grams of pure arsenic will kill a human? She says Craig purchased arsenic and cyanide and laced his wife's protein shakes with them along with a lethal dose of tetrahydrazoline, a chemical found in the eye drop medicine Bizine. Angela Craig's brother, who was among those in court, talked about her final hours. One of my favorite memories of Angela from this incident, anyway, is um, her walk of honor as they took her out to be a donor and her heart was still beating. And that sweetheart of hers will go on to bless other people's lives. In addition to an extramarital affair, the detective suggested money, too, might have been a motive in Angela Craig's murder. She says the couple had life insurance policies worth about $3.5 million, and his business, Summerbrook Dental, was underwater. The defense attempted to paint a very different picture of the couple's finances and relationship, pointing out the dental practice was profitable and home surveillance video and text messages show a loving and affectionate couple, even as Dr. Craig allegedly told the woman he was seeing he was in the process of divorcing his wife. The defense also raised questions about whether Dr. Craig bought the poison for his wife or himself, noting he had attempted suicide in the past. In Arapahoe County, Sean Boyd covering Colorado first.